Hey guys, um, before you watch the episode, just want to give you a heads up. Um, I apologize in advance if you do get offended by any of the stuff that I say. So, um, just keep an open mind and uh, don't get offended. I love all shapes, colors, kinds, so uh, don't hate me. Hey guys, this is Steven from an eight month hiatus. The two drink minimum show is what we got going here. And this is our new place, as you can tell. We have a new apartment, obviously, and also a new co-host. She stands four foot 11, 100% Italian, um, a firecracker, if I do say so myself. And, uh, you know, here she is, Danielle. Let's give her a hand. Woo! So, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Good. You nervous? No. <laughs> That's why you're not shaking? No, no, no. no. I'm no. just peeking at the right time. Okay. Apparently. Okay, so why don't you go, uh, why don't you tell our fans about something? Um, wait, wait, wait. What? Hold on a second. Something doesn't... Yeah, something doesn't feel right right now. Oh, shoot, what's this? Oh, there, there we, we go. go, there we go. Okay. Much better. Anyways, okay. so, what's, what's, what's special about you? Um, why, do, why do they want to watch you right now? Because I'm awesome. Come on now. Okay, you're awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool. You're cool. I like long walks on the beach. Oh my gosh, you're like, are you <laughs> from Match.com or Plenty of Fish? Yes, yes. Please check out my profile. At <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Is that, is that how you meet guys? That's, oh, yeah, all the time. You know it. No. Oh my gosh! All right, they already they already turned it off. So. Oh, Brat. Brat, why is that your like that's your thing that you call me? I don't get it. Like you never say like, asshole or like. Cause you're being a brat. Like I don't know. <laughs> Stefan, and I'm so cool. I am cool. No, you're not. Okay. Well, we got our sponsors. <laughs> Dirty Rags is our first one. Check out the shirt. Love it. It says Italia. Italia, cause I'm Italian. And I'm on a boat. Wearing my flippy floppies, right? And then our other sponsor, Jack Havoc Bracelets. Check it out. They sponsor us too and give us free bracelets. That's about all they do. <laughs> Anyways, so now we got the sponsors covered. We have drinks, which are my lovely hostess with, with the mostess. We'll bring in the Belvedere Vodka. In a martini glass. Uh, can I get a single shotter, dear? And actually, Miss Thang over here isn't drinking because. Because I'm sick. Because you have a fever of 101. Is that right? Yes. What a trooper, huh? Come on, guys. She's doing the show. She's on her deathbed. I'm dying. I mean, she has a little this bow. This is my last wish to be on the show. I mean, Make a Wish Foundation. We work in conjunction with them. And, you know, um, little Danielle here, um, her last wish was to host the show with me. So we're making dreams come true over here. I love so, it. So special, right? It's so special. I'm going to pour my thing here. The martini glance with Belvedere vodka mm -hmm. and vitamin water. So the viewers at home, if they want to follow along. Um, let's get down to the topics, shall we? What do we got there? Got breaking oh. news. Oh, yeah, we have breaking news. Okay. So a lot of things happened here over the past eight months. A lot, a lot of celebrities died. Name them off. We got Michael Jackson. Who else we got? Vera Fawcett, uh -huh. Ed McMahon, 
and uh, Billy. Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Cocaine. Was it cocaine? I thought it was a it hard was drive. Cocaine now. I heard it was cocaine. Really? Cocaine. Billy Mays here. Wait, cocaine. wait. There's more. You watched the show, right? Yeah. The Oxy Queen. Oh, yeah. John Hughes died the other day. Yesterday. Really? Yeah, who that is? Yeah, okay. There's a good girl. Come on now. There's a good girl. Who else? I'm genius. Jesus oh. Christ. He dies every day from our sins. <laughs> so. That's a lot. What, what, how's it go? Mm. I didn't do it right. It's my no, 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 testicles. Test no, testicles, 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 wallet, and watch. What? From Austin Powers. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've never heard that? I know. I think I don't even remember it now. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Are you done? Well, saying that. Time out. <laughs> You're not supposed to move. I'm trying. Okay. I put in here the script. A little funny thing from Say by the Bell. Do a time out. Okay, we'll try it again. Okay. So you talk about something else. Okay. So let's talk about you. You're supposed to say something else. I'm supposed to cut you off. Okay. Um, Michael Jackson died. Time out! All right, let's break this down. Michael Jackson, the singer, died. But his music lives on. The singer? He was an actor, too? I'm, I did time out. This is me time. Me and Zach Morris only have this power. <laughs> All right. So Michael Jackson died of the person. But the molestation and the music lives on, right? Alleged molestation. No. No, the non-molestation. No. You were, were you one of the? What? We don't talk about that. Did you call time out? Time in. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you know. I don't. I don't know if he did. He had to. Could he have? He Let's did. take a vote. Who here in this room think Michael Jackson molested kids? Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Do you think? I think he did. Why do you think he did? Because he had sleepovers. Because he had sleepovers. He had freaking Neverland. <laughs> what well, place is just plain fun? Yeah, but you have little kids. Come on, little kitties, come to my room. Come play. Huh. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's a gray area, and I'll give the guy the benefit of the doubt because um, Billie Jean is one of my favorite songs. All right? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. This guy's a sinner. <laughs> so let's talk about it. That brings us to our next topic, the summer blockbusters of the year, right? Yeah. Um, what movies have you seen? I saw The Hangover. I did too. That's like I how uh, that's like how we kind of like clicked, right? By yeah, Dr. Faggot. Paging Dr. Faggot. Messaging me at late at night, paging Dr. Faggot. That's what you did to me. No, you did it to me. You did it to me. Whatever. That's that's the way you pick up all your guys. Oh, apparently, I call them brats and Dr. Faggot, and they just come right to me. It's yeah. working. It, apparently, it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Hangover was good. Yeah. That was the number one rated comedy, R-rated comedy. It was? It was. I read that on, uh, I was on Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Um, and then, what else? I saw Taking Palo Monte 3. That was a good movie. What did you think of it? Like, it was pretty, it, it was thrilling. It was about John Travolta hijacking a train with Denzel Washington as like the, like the guy in the headset, whatever you call it. But, so that just makes me want to think, like, you ever want to, like, just do a heist? <laughs> want to just do a heist and, like, take $10,000 from, like, a Wells Fargo bank? Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Not Too much that. into it. That's All right. You bad. would. Did you see <laughs> Public Enemies? No. What did you see this summer? The Hangover. That's about it? <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> All right. Um, Transformers, did you see that? No, but I want to see it. Okay, that's stupid anyways. It was? I don't know. It wasn't. I think Megan Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf and Shia Megan. Megan Fox made that movie. Ew. She had very nice teeth. <laughs> did you see? She had uh, very nice did teeth. Did you see the clip where she was on, they on uh, Jimmy Kimmel and she like uh, avoided the kiss from Seth Rogen? Did anyone see that video? Mm -hmm. All right, everyone at home, search the YouTube video for that because it's really funny. Like she's a guest host on Jimmy Kimmel, I guess. And like Seth Rogen was there before her, and so she does like walk through and like give him a hug, and she like avoids a kiss from him. Oh, awkward. What? 
Oh, not now, you dick. Oh. Sound guy's getting so excited all of a sudden. Yeah. Anyways, um, that brings us to our next topic here. You want to read that one? Sure. Since you're not saying anything at all. Why people are attracted to accents. Tell me. Why are you attracted to an accent? What kind of accents do you go for? You go first. What do I like? No, why, why are you attracted to accents? Because they're sexy. What's sexy about them? I don't know, just the fact that it's foreign. <laughs> huh? Audience, female member of the audience, what do you think? Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, they're hot, like Australians. Why? Yeah, Australians are hot. How are you doing? Hot. Girl, <laughs> other girl in the corner, she hooked up with an Australian, right? How was it? It was all right. It was good. It was all right, she was all right, no big deal. <laughs> okay. Australian, boom. Bingo, bango. All you gotta do is carry a guitar out and yeah. do your good. You can be ugly oh. then. You can get away with it. Well, a good friend of mine, um, Justin Marks, um, I know, once told me um, that the reason why people are attracted to accents is because it shows that they traveled a far distance to get where they are, where their accent is rare. So, Showing that they hi have higher survival rate because they traveled so far makes them have a higher replication value in this world we call the USA. Oh, that's different. Would you concur? Would you concur? I just think it's sexy. Not all accents are Well, what? yeah, there's some that are like, what the f <laughs> right? you know? What's what's an unattractive accent? Uh, Asian. <laughs> I'm half Asian. No, you're not. <laughs> Me, I don't, but luckily I don't have the Asian accent. We love you, nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Asian. What else? What else? What else can you turn down? What other fans can you turn down right now? Spanish. I don't know. I'm Spanish just accent. <laughs> I'm so sick of you two. <laughs> so you hate um, Enrique Iglesias? He's not my type. No, not no. even Ricky Martin. Too racist. No, I, I Ricky Martin. Do you like? Um, do you know what it feels like loving someone? The the what, what's the name of the song? The, the do you know? Do you know? Oh, do you know? That song's so old. It's not that old. It's so old. I just like it because it was on Robin Big that one time in the intro. Are you good? You're vibrating. I know. It's, it's my your, vibrator. Your vibrator. It's my pocket vibrator. Your uh, pocket rocket? No, it's my phone because I'm popular. You can't help it. <laughs> Wow. I'm joking. Wow, this girl is... Full of herself? Yeah, like, I'm trying to be classy, <laughs> drinking Belvedere vodka, and then she comes in with, with, her, with her stupid vitamin water. Which you gave me. <laughs> you're supposed to go along with it. That's what we call um, um, a happening. A happening. That's what they did back in the Andy Kaufman days. God bless his soul. Yeah, so what do you think? Do you think Michael Jackson faked his death? No. Wouldn't that be the greatest coup in American history? It would history? be the greatest thing, but I don't know. Like, that'd be hilarious if he came out and was like, I'm having a uh, a revival tour or something like a that. A revival. Like, out of my coffin. Out of my coffin and Did onto the stage. And then he does, then he does the thriller thing in full costume and everything. Because he's actually like... Because he's actually like dead. dead. Yeah. That would be cool. Too soon. Too soon? Like one year from now. How hilarious, he's like, how is he, old was he, 50? Who cares, he's dead. He's dead, why are you so... You're horrible. Satanic. <laughs> I just burped, you gotta burp now. That's, that's, that's filthy shit. Oh, look at this girl, I love her. <laughs> On that note, break time, time out. See, wait, we gotta walk out of the shot. You don't hit record yet, buddy. I'm not. You, you gotta, gotta walk out? You gotta walk out. Walk it out. I'll walk it out. So many things to do. Like, what do we do? Well, we, got, we got 34 minutes to kill on tape. All right, let's go backstage. Let's go I'll something. show you with the rope. All right. Because this isn't anything regular. Go pick up those chicks, dude. Yeah, you can't just go backstage to any show. 
Especially Martini Ranch. Excuse me, guys, we're filming here. <laughs> so here's Captain. Sometimes I'll take his guns. Yeah, what, else, what do you do with He's a guns? pretty strong lad, you know, so you gotta watch out for him. Right. Let's go back a little bit further. He doesn't mind. See, every band has to go through this. See, three years from now, there'll be red carpets, okay? Diamonds falling from the sides, okay? Chandeliers. You see this? That's not real. That's plastic. You don't right. know that. It's all right. We'll fucking figure something out. We should have been blowing the crowd the entire time during one night stand. That would have been the best idea ever. Wouldn't be the best idea. What's up, guys? We're like not hey, even that shit sounded good as fuck. Yes, yeah. 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 Hey, Kessin, what'd you think of the show? The show was the shit. Oh, snap. No, dude. Yeah. The solo and shit. I fucking yelled that out there. The solo was solo is sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, so I'm so hey, did you get my text message about Shane sleeping over? Oh, like, oh, that was, that was <laughs> yeah. I was like, I okay, I'll spend that at Chris's house. You're like, who's Chris? I was like, oh, my Anyways, bad. I meant to say this. Keston likes to talk a lot, yeah. so we're going to keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hey, there. fuck your couch, dude. <laughs> fuck your couch. <laughs> no, but, oh, yeah. all right, let's cut the tape. We gotta, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Cause this isn't like 